Welcome back to Mayo Clinic Radio. I'm Dr. Tom Shives. And I'm Tracy McCray. Tracy, we know that women are more at risk for dementia than are men, specifically Alzheimer's disease. And in fact, 65% of people who have dementia are women. Now, we also know that age is the main risk factor, and we know that women live longer than men. It makes so, sense, then. Yeah, it does make a lot of sense it, it, that women truly have more dementia than men. But it doesn't completely explain the difference. We don't fully understand why women are more likely to develop Alzheimer's disease than men, but one of the main theories has to do with horm the hormone estrogen. Well, of that course makes it sense would. Too. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of controversy regarding whether hormones to treat menopausal symptoms might increase or decrease the risk of developing dementia. Here to discuss is Mayo Clinic neuroradiologist Dr. Kajal Kantarsi. Welcome to see. Uh, welcome to the program. It's good to see you. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. So, Dr. Kantarsi, you're not just a radiologist. You're a neuroradiologist. So that means you concentrate on the brain. That's true. And using all modalities? That's also true. Um, my research involves MRI as well as PET imaging. So I look at the brain with both of those modalities. And there's some controversy regarding whether or not hormone replacement therapy leads to dementia in women. How long has that controversy been brewing? It's been a long time. Uh, there was a nationwide hormone therapy study back in 1990s funded by the National Institutes of Health. It was a nationwide study that enrolled more than 100,000 women looking at whether hormone therapies have any effect on dementia risk. Now that study was uh, looking at women in their 60s. So hormone therapies were given to women who were generally older than women who are transitioning into menopause, which happens to be in early 50s. Now, in that study, uh, it was found that the oral form of estrogen and progesterone increased the risk of dementia in those women if given during 60s. Now, um, of course, this... Um, finding was surprising because some of the animal studies and previous human studies have suggested that perhaps hormone therapies and estrogen have a beneficial effect on the brain. And this led to some theories that possibly um, estrogen given during the menopausal transition when women are in their 50s may have a beneficial effect. But if it's given at later in life uh, to women who are in their 60s, there may be some adverse effects because the brain is older, the vascular system is older, and the effects of estrogens may be detrimental. Well, and you brain. have uh, the woman has most likely gone through menopause at that point. Absolutely. So they have not been exposed to estrogen for a while, and then they're all of a sudden receiving hormone therapy. So um, this led to some studies, again, nationwide uh, multi-center studies looking at whether estrogen or hormone therapies given during menopausal transition would have a benef beneficial or a risky effect. So... And how did you become, how does a neuroradiologist become involved in this controversy? That's a really good question. Well, um, Mayo was one of the sites for those studies. And um, I, I am interested in what's going on in the brain. It's imaging provides us a window into what happens in terms of brain pathology, such as those that cause dementia. So you can actually detect dementia on a brain scan? Yes, certain aspects of dementia. For example, we have scans, PET scans, to detect Alzheimer's pathology before it even manifests itself. So imaging provides us an early detection tool before people start showing symptoms of dementia. So in younger women, actually, imaging may be a better tool to detect what's going on than just cognitive testing and trying to understand the manifestations. So you were in a position where you could potentially help answer this question. That's true. That's why I entered this field um, maybe 15 years ago, I would say. So tell us about the study and what did you find? So this was an ongoing study. We started when women have started the hormone therapies and placebo, of course. And we Sugar pill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Placebo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Placebo. Um, and we have followed them 
and uh, with imaging and cognitive studies for almost seven years. And what we found was there was no effect in cognitive function, which is good news. Um, it wasn't beneficial or risky during this short term of seven years. Um, however, we did find some changes on brain imaging. For example, the oral form, which was used in the Women's Health Initiative, did you know, initiate the occurrence of certain lesions in the brain that may be linked to vascular uh, problems and such as the thrombogeneity of hormones. And that was only present in women who took the oral form of hormone therapies. However, this did not relate to cognitive function. We also saw that in women who took the transdermal or patch form of estrogen have um, preserved some of their brain volumes compared to women who took placebo. So the region of the brain that was preserved was the brain, the function of that region was um, uh, attention and also decision making. So bottom line, what, what have your studies, uh, what have they revealed about an association between hormone replacement therapy and dementia? Now, um, we did not find any effect on cognitive function in the short term, but these brain changes may be a early sign of future risk or benefit that we don't know. So what we're doing right now is to follow these women even further into their 60s to determine whether their cognitive function is affected from hormone therapies, good or bad. So um, the, this time window is really important because now we have uh, 12 years of follow-up on our uh, participants, which will help us understand not just these brain changes even more, which may happen to continue, but also to understand the effects on cognitive function and dementia risk, because we're now looking at our participants in, at an older age. What are the, well, how will the findings of your study affect patient treatment for both men and women? Will it make a difference for men? I'm not sure if it would make a difference for men okay. because we are studying women mm -hmm. for this study. Uh, obviously, uh, we're studying women who are undergoing menopause. But for women, I think it will be important for them to make decisions on whether or not to use hormone therapies for their menopausal symptoms. Some women need hormone therapies because their menopausal symptoms are quite severe and their physicians are willing to prescribe mm -hmm. these hormone therapies. This gives them some relief that perhaps in the short term, the cognitive function would not be affected as much. And the, the one form of hormone therapy, the estrogen patch that we studied, appears to have some uh, beneficial protective effects on the brain, which we don't know whether is important or not at this time. Um, but at least we know it doesn't cause harm. All right. Well, the question is, does hormone replacement therapy in postmenopausal women increase their risk for dementia? It's controversial, but the Mayo Clinic studies, at least so far, show that there's no evidence that hormone replacement therapy in women leads to changes in the brain that are linked to dementia. Fair statement? That's true. I would say so. Our thanks to Mayo Clinic radiologist, Dr. Kajal Kantarsi. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.